When you first start making videos, it's very easy to get caught up in the hype train that is YouTube. People, YouTubers telling you that you need the latest camera, the latest specs, the latest gear, the latest drone, whatever it is, you know the deal. There is a new product coming out every single week and someone's already ready there to, to, to hype it up and push it to you. And it is very easy, I myself have done this a lot, is just think, wow, that is amazing. You get caught up in, in, in the jazz of all the videos and the fancy looking promotion and you go and buy it. Then, not to actually use it that much. So today I'm gonna to share with you five things which I think will make your life either easier and in turn make your, your video production get better or just generally help like more important things which will help your content creation, your filmmaking get better. Some of them are a little expensive, some of them not so much. Anyway, let's get into it. Warning, this video does contain opinions that may not match your own. A lot of this, remember, is subjective just to me and are just recommendations. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, so number one, if you hadn't already guessed it by looking at this, is a decent tripod. I thought I'd never, I swore I'd never pay huge amounts of money for a tripod. They're all the same, right? It's got three legs and it holds a camera. Oh, how wrong I was. Build quality, for one, is, is night and day between them. The features and the weight they can hold, things like uh, the actual weight of the thing, carbon fiber legs, well worth paying for if you are going to be carrying a tripod around a lot. A tripod once bought, well, if, you, if you're a tripod user, and I'm guessing a lot of people will be, the tripod will be with you for years. So I got the Gazelle TC7 legs from iFurge and the E-Image GH6 fluid head. Perfect, I highly recommend this combination. Okay, going for something a little cheaper and completely different in size now. Number two is a multi-tool. Uh, you can see this one here is from Small Rig. It comes in handy little case, and I think it had a bag which was inside the case. Kind of unnecessary, I don't use the bag, just the case. But this thing is incredible. It has some screwdrivers, the most important one, this kind of flat bladed thing for what you will probably spend most of your time doing up, which is rigging gear. If it be that a tripod plate on the bottom or just doing up screws on gear and also a bunch of Allen keys of three different sizes, the most commonly used sizes for like small rig or tilter rigging stuff. This thing, tiny, fits in your pocket or in your bag and it is super useful, super helpful and you will use this all the time. Absolutely recommend this. Okay, so number three, a V-mount battery or V-mount batteries. If you're rigging your camera, you definitely want V-mount batteries because A, they will balance out the rig lens at the front is very heavy. If you have a monitor on top as well, usually that will be powered by uh, one of those horrible Sony MP batteries, which are those big chunky ones, and that will make it even more front heavy. And with a top handle, that's it's just it just makes it kind of really front heavy and annoying to hold all the time. The V-mount battery will not only power the whole rig for the whole day, it will also balance balance it out. And especially if you're like me shooting on either like I'm now the FX3 or the FX30, which is down here. Uh, the XLR handle seems to set the battery life really fast. Without the battery, without the XLR handle, it is the battery life's amazing. But with the XLR handle, it does go fast. So if you are rigging out your camera and you're using a XLR microphone like I am, a V-mount battery is an absolute must. Okay, number four. This is a relatively expensive one, although it doesn't have to be because there are a lot of very good microphones out there on the market, but a microphone. You want a good microphone. And I know there's lots of hype about the DJI ones. I myself have the DJI Wireless 2 over here and I had the DJI V1s. I've had a whole bunch of the different, the, the Rode ones as well. And they are great, but if you want to really level up your audio, you want something like this. Now, I'm using this on the camera right now, so I can't actually show you the thing, but I can show you the box. I bought the Sennheiser MKE 600. This is an absolute game changer. Your audio will go from being good to being phenomenal just by getting a good condenser mic. Also, if you're out, if you shoot docks or anything like uh, where you're, you're out and about and it might be noisy around you, one of these, the sound isolation is phenomenal. So not for everybody, but if you are really looking to up your audio quality, Decent shotgun mic will do you good. Okay, number five, bit of a wild card, cheapest chips, anyone can get this, very easy. Just a little notebook, 
a little small one like this and maybe a pencil goes in your pocket while you're going about your day. You can note down potential video ideas, any thoughts you have, anything you see which you think, oh, that might be make, uh, make a good video or that might be useful for X, Y, Z, or you're with a client and you, know, you just need to note down important things that they've told you which will help you get a better end product for them little notebook it also when you write things down you have ideas it kind of helps set it in your memory to write it down as well so yeah definitely pick yourself up a notebook stick it in your pocket with a pen or a pencil and jobs are good right end of the video guys what did you think let me know in the comments down below is there anything you think that i've missed if you have any recommendations for me from you i guess i'll speak to you in the comments and until next time guys peace